All right, Mr. Attorney, your report today. Mr. Chairman, I have one item, please, sir. As you know, the Open Meetings Act requires an opinion letter from your counsel before you go into executive session, and I'm asking you to go into executive session to discuss a legal matter with your lawyer, me. And uh, these are copies of the letters, and if you'll look behind the letter, there's the form of the motion. Don't pass the you know, The form of the motion that I suggest that you make. After we go in executive session, no, if the motion oh, the motion to go in. Oh, okay. 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 So, what you're asking for is a motion that, pursuant to and in compliance with the provisions of Alabama Open Meetings Act, this commission convene an executive session for the following limited purposes to discuss with legal counsel a legal matter. That is correct. Do we have such a motion? So motion by Commissioner Cook. Second. Second by Commissioner Forrester. All in favor? Say aye. Aye. Opposed? Okay. We will step back into that room back there and be back shortly. Those of you that want to stay are welcome to. Taken out. Okay. He's going to kick that cat. Bill, that's what Poole said about that. Okay. <laughs> Sorry for the delay. Uh, we need a motion to reconvene a uh, so, regular commission meeting. Motion by Commissioner Harvey. Second. Second by Commissioner Cook. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed. Motion passes. Mr. Chair, you won't comment. You just want me to present the motion for resolu to adopt the resolution. Uh, there's no reason to comment unless you want me to. Mr. Okay, then what we need uh, after after convening an executive session um, is the, our council's recommendation that we adopt the resolution that is before you to authorize the county attorney on behalf of the county to enter into a court-ordered consent judgment between the county and the Houston Economic Development Association. Do we have said motion? So motion by Commissioner Cook, second by Commissioner Harvey. Discussion, comments? Gary, any comments? Okay, both the resolution and the, um, what do you call it, Gary? It's proposed consent judgment. Proposed would be um, available afterwards for, for you all. Any other comments? <coughs> all in favor of the motion say aye. Aye. Opposed? My motion vote passed. will be no. So motion passes three to one. Um, anything else, Gary? Nothing else. Okay. Any other questions for any of the staff? That's where we were on the agenda before we left. <laughs> All right. Then do we have a motion to adjourn? Someone. Motion by Commissioner Harvey. Second by Commissioner Cook. Thank you. We are. We are. Uh, yeah, they're the news, not me. That's entering into a.
court-ordered agreement on the funds that we put into court. Uh, our question has been, do we have the authority to reimburse any money? They're public funds, and we want to be sure uh, from the start that we had authority to, to, do, to, to, to issue funds, um, and we've asked the court to order that. Do you feel that this situation with the, these funds is, is resolved for the time being now? I think uh, assuming that the court does what we voted today, uh, I think it'll be re this particular chapter of this will be resolved permanently. Um, I guess what, where does it kind of go from here if, if they are moving towards a January date per se? Um, what we did today doesn't have anything to do with their operation. I mean, that's all their, their questions. Um, what we did today is remedy the situation that is in court uh, with some disputed funds. Um, they believe they were owed all the money. We believe they weren't owed all the money. Uh, what we've agreed to today is, is the answer to our question about whether we had the authority to give them any money. Uh, the court order will give us that authority. Without looking at the documentation yet, how are these figures arrived at? Is there like a prorated amount? Um, we took into account monies that were already expended. That's the way we, we arrived at what what we could not, in our um, in our judgment, we could not return. Robert M. Harper. And if you remember, these are not our monies that we currently have. We voted several months ago to put a little over a million dollars into an interpleader in the court these monies are in the court system right now they're not county monies so basically what this will do will allow the court to order the disbursement of those funds from the clerk's court to the parties back in november i asked you the question uh, that should the country crossing project not continue in other words close down early would they be entitled to or would the commission be amenable to return part of that machine tax? And you said at that time you felt that the county would be able to retain it and should retain it because it would be much the same as a business license that someone had purchased and three months later they go out of business but the county had earned the tax. What has changed the thinking since that time? Uh, our thinking hasn't changed. That is still our position. Um, it's their position and you know they have uh, lawyers also that they are due the funds back uh, you know we could go through a long potentially a long process of debating that back and forth and someone would get the money and some one wouldn't but we feel like from our position uh, based on advice from council that this is the best thing for us to do for the taxpayers of the county